This is the M-Body H20N, and unlike a traditional scale that only tracks weight, it tracks your body fat percentage, your skeletal muscle mass, among some other things, all with the ease of use of a very nice, simple app. If you've ever been to a college rec center or a high-end gym, odds are you've probably seen an M-Body machine. Maybe not this particular model, but maybe one of their higher-end machines. So I was curious, how accurate are these machines? And as someone that is very serious about their fitness, at least this year, I really wanted to get something like this. So let's talk about it. Embody scales are known for their precision. It uses bioelectrical impedance analysis, or BIA, to provide detailed readings. While it's not as comprehensive or accurate as a larger Embody machine or a DEXA scan, it's still a pretty good bang for the buck for something that you could just own and have at home. But what exactly is BIA? Here's how it works. The scale sends a weak electrical current through your body and measures the resistance of that current. Different body compositions like fat or muscle resist electricity different. So the machine measures how fast that electricity travels from your feet up to your thumbs. Using that resistance along with your actual body weight and your height, the machine estimates your body composition. Okay, so after you've connected the M-Body, to start a test, very simple, you're gonna open the app, you're gonna hit start test, and then you're gonna select yes. You're gonna jump on the scale, hold the handle with your thumbs, pull your arms up, and look straight forward. After a few beeps, boom, your measurement is complete. That easy. So once you're done, you could see here, uh, here's my weight, 184.8. My skeletal muscle mass, 84.9. My body fat percentage, 19.3. You can see this graph is a historical timeline of my measurements, exclude that measurement. I need to figure out how to go in there and delete that. But you can see here, as time has progressed, I have gone up in weight, but lowered my body fat percentage, which is great, great news. Hey, I think I forgot to hit record on this particular section, but there is also a details tab, which as you can see here, will have your weight, skeletal muscle, body mass, and will give you your ranking based on X data. I'm actually not sure what data pool they're using to determine what's average or above average, but as you can see, if you click in one of these categories, for example, let's say your skeletal muscle mass, you will get your historical data as well. But yeah, I'm not really sure what they're what data pool they're using for that. If you scroll all the way to the bottom part, you can see your basal metabolic rate, which is kind of cool to see, but essentially that is the minimum amount of energy that your body needs to sustain just life. So that is a pretty cool metric. I would be more curious to see how they're calculating that. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. There's also a ranking tab, which I never really use. I think that's more for their higher end tiers or devices, or if a gym has an in-body and you wanna compare yourself to other people in that gym. But otherwise the app, very easy to use. So I guess the main question, is it worth it and who is it for? And I think the answer is yes. I think it is definitely worth it if you're serious about your health or you're trying to improve and you want some a better metric than just weight, it's definitely worth it. As of the recording of this video, the new version of the scale, the H30, has been released. So that means the price of this one will drop. As of this moment, I think it's only $20 cheaper on Amazon, so not much of a price drop. I'm expecting that to go down lower. But if you want the newer version, you pay the extra I think 20 or 30 bucks and you get the new version, which I'm sure will be a little bit more precise. Like I said, it's not necessarily a budget-friendly scale, but it is cheaper than getting a DEXA scan. So now the question is, is it as accurate as a DEXA scan? And for that, we'll find out in a later video. I'm going to go and do a few DEXA scans and see how they compare with the in-body over time. So we will see. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see me compare the in-body versus another scale, let me know. In particular, I'm very curious about the fit index because it is a third of the price. I will link it down below, as well as a video from The Grey Dog, which reviewed it. Other than that, yeah, I will catch you on the next one.